the gaming balance plus whatever activity we will put in there. We're going to journalize the activity, basically journalize the budgeting activity. Then I'm just going to highlight this all the way down. I'm going to highlight all the way down to here. And these are all the accounts I'm going to need. So I'm actually going to delete some of these rows. And this is all we're going to need. Delete, shift up. And note that how did these zeros get here? It's just all we did was sum up. I said equals the sum of everything. All this all the way down. Because we're going to need some income statement accounts. Why is it stop at the balance sheet? Because we're stopping at the point in time at the end of uh, June 30th in this case. And then we're going to budget forward. So we don't have any income statements already closed out to the balance sheet. So I'm going to add some income statement accounts because we're going to need them for the budgeting process. Then if I highlight this across, then we have this. And if you want to know why they're green, I went to the home tab styles and we went to uh, when they're equal, I want them to be green. So that means I can see that uh, whether they're green or not, and it'll keep us in balance. So if, if that equals zero, we're going to have it be green. If it's not zero, then it's going to change and that'll give us a, a visual indication. So then I'm going to highlight from A to M, let go, right click, whoop, highlight from A to M, let go, right click, and unhide. Oh, I hid instead of unhide. Let's do that one more time. I'm going to right click and unhide. All right. Okay, so now notice I've also added just our journal entry area. This is where we're going to enter the journal entries and post them to this section and see what happens. So if we just go through our some of our activity, you can say, well, the sales happened and we had sales of this dollar amount. And we know that part of those sales were on account and part of them were for cash. So I'm going to go ahead and post that out. So we're going to have some cash. We're going to have accounts receivable that are going to go up. And the other side of it's going to be sales. Sales is going to be in the sales. I'm going to have a credit of this number. Now, the problem told us that 70% of our sales are on account. That's what we're budgeting to happen. So I'm going to say the negative because I want to flip the sign of this number times 0.7. And that'll say this is how many, how much of those sales, sales <laughs> we're going to have on account. And then the difference between this minus this, which I'm just going to say negative sum, is going to be our plug. That means that that much is cash. So now the debits equal the credits. And we can just journalize this transaction and see if it ties out to our ending balance sheet once we're done. We're going to say, okay, cash is here and accounts receivable is here. And then sales went up down here like so. And that'll put us back in balance. Now we've recorded our sales and we can kind of check those off to our ending numbers as we go. And I can kind of say over here, we can say like, well, okay, I've taken a look at this. We've pretty much journalized the activity there. So then what happened is we had the raw material. I'm going to, I'm going to skip down here to the raw materials. This is what we're going to produce. And here we have the raw materials that we purchased. And I'm going to make the assumption first that we purchased it all basically for cash. I'm going to adjust for that later. But right now, because we, we bought it on account. But right now, I'm just going to say we bought it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to say we bought it all on account. And so these are all the purchases we made. And then we're going to adjust for the fact that we paid for some.